see what we got in the mail today. It's from Baker Creek. I haven't ordered anything from them in a little while. Yeah, we don't want to look at that. But let's see what we got here. Got Chinese five color peppers. Kellogg's breakfast tomatoes, carbon tomatoes, Boston pickling cucumbers, Rio Grande Verde tomatillos. Woohoo! One of my free seeds is datil peppers. China rose radishes. Tiny bok choy. I've already got a few packs of that. Yeah, it's okay. You'd have to grow about 40 of them for a meal for a few people. My scotch bonnets, which I was completely out of. Gillet peppers. Jigsaw peppers. Both of them are a variegated variety, so there you'll have like purple and white striped leaves. Chinese red meat radishes. Black Hungarian peppers. I ain't even going to attempt to say that, but they're peas. They're like a snow pea, I believe. I got some snow peas, some sweet peas. Can't remember which is which. But either way, that's going to be planting time probably next week for them. Got black Spanish radishes. This giant daikon radishes. Be time to plant them next week too. Rad fresh. French breakfast radishes, if I could learn to talk. Fish peppers. Zucchino rapicante, which are, they're like a, a vining variety of, it's kind of a cross between a squash and a cucumber. I thought that'd be interesting. I know they're getting pretty popular just because they're a trellis type variety and I kind of need some trellis and squash. Wasabi radishes, which I really like them. We grew, we grew them, I think, last year. Gray zucchini. That's basically 18 day radishes is about your average harvest date. Prolific straight neck squash. Merlot lettuce is one of my free seeds, which I'm fine with that. I grow that in my hydroponics indoors pretty much year round. The better half wanted these specific sunflowers. Black Nebula Carrot. Then we got <clears throat> Danvers 126 Half Long Carrots. Tatsoi. Which I've had, I've discussed that stuff with a few people. And they prefer it to bok choy because it's a leaf and variety. So it's kind of like keep picking at it instead of harvesting the whole head. K 
candy roaster from North Georgia squash. Now they're like a bigger squash, but they have a sweeter flavor, kind of reminiscent of a pumpkin. But supposedly years ago, they used to give all the pumpkins to the pigs on the farms. And they're the ones that the, a lot of people in the South would eat instead of the pumpkins. We got tall telephone peas. Kyoto red carrots. Little finger carrots, which from what I've seen, they're like, yeah, finger size. Like maybe four or five inches long, about the size around as your index finger. And then Pusa Asita black carrots. And uh, that wraps that one up. Yeah, it was a little more than I should have spent on seeds, as is always the case. But, hey, it's food. I'd rather spend it on seeds than at the grocery store, which then you don't know where it comes from. Thanks a lot, everybody.